Hey friends, I wanted to hop on here. Today I'm gonna be filming a tanning video. If you guys did not know, I've been tanning in the tanning bed almost every single day. And before you come on here and you say that it's bad for you, just know they put warning signs up in the tanning bedroom. So I kind of already know this, so don't even remind me. Um, I already know, as you can see, um, I've been tanning. It's a lot darker in person and it looks really good. And I love tanning. I think I have an addiction. So I'm just going to stick with it. I'm not going to like tan every day. I'm still trying to get my base tan. But like it's getting there really good. Um, I'm always, I'm, I've been a very pale and very fair person. So that's why it's taking a lot longer for my skin to tan. But I wanted to share with you guys my favorite tanning lotions. The affordable ones. As well as a more expensive one. And then I also want to share with you guys my favorite moisturizers and lotions. Because it is very important to keep your skin moisturized when you're always tanning in the tanning bed. Just because your skin is being dried out, even though you are putting on tanning lotion, it doesn't matter. Your skin is going to be very dried out. So let's go into the tanning lotions first. So the first tanning lotion, I actually have two bottles of it. Okay, don't hate me. I didn't know that they sold actual tanning lotion for tanning beds at Walmart. I thought I was the only one. I know a lot of people already knew this, but... I did not so I'm glad I found out because they're a lot cheaper I got this wait 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 <laughs> electric let me think European gold my bad European gold flash black 4,000 times um, indoor tanning lotion as you can see it's pretty much dented I've used almost all of this one so I got me another one and this is like $10.97 at Walmart. It's not that expensive at all. It's a super cheap price and it's an amazing lotion. It's very dark. It gets your skin dark. It's a very good lotion. I am very pleased with what I've gotten. And then I got a more expensive lotion. And I get some of my expensive lotions on Amazon. And I've heard very, very mixed opinions on this. Because sometimes lotions are like from an actual person like me. And they're not directly from the distributor so they could like put whatever in the bottle and you don't even know but i've had a pretty good experience with what i've got and whenever i get it it's always sealed up in a package and everything so i know what i'm getting is true and authentic and actually from the specific person that creates the tanning lotion so this is devoted creations mermaid majesty i love devoted creations tanning lotions my salon that i go to they sell Devoted Creations tanning lotions, and they are amazing, okay? There's also this one called, I think, Matte Black. I'll put a picture up right here, but it's an amazing lotion as well. And I used it before, and it got me super dark, super fast. And it was like an instant bronzer. It had a bronzer in it and everything. You want to get a tanning lotion that has a bronzer in it, because if you do that, your skin's going to be a lot more tan a lot faster. Now, I also have this tan extender moisturizer. You, you don't obviously need this, but it's just like an extra thing in case you do need it. Um, but it's just the solid black for Millennium Tanning Products. It is the Tan Extending Hydrating Moisturizer. It's a really tiny kind of like bottle, but because I, I use a lot of moisturizer on my skin, so my lotions go by super fast. But I really do like this. I use this occasionally. I really just use regular moisturizers because, you know, I use a lot of moisturizer, so I don't want to go through this. It's like 20, 30 bucks, and I don't want to use it up super quickly and have to buy new ones. So this is just in a special occasion lotion. Then I got this one when I got my tanning lotion right here. This is the Hawaiian Tropics After Sun Tanning Moisturizer, or just skin moisturizer. It's really good. As you can see, I've already almost, I've used a little bit over half of the bottle. Um, it smells like this lime culotta scent. It's really good, and I love it. I really do. It's good. It smells good. It's, it's refreshing on my skin. It really gets my skin moisturized. And that's what you want. You want a good moisturizing lotion because you don't want your skin to be dry. And if your skin is dry after you moisturize, put some more lotion on. That's all I got to say. I also like the Hemp's Body Lotion. But this stuff is really, really expensive. So, what I do, get it at TJ Maxx. This one was $12.99. If you find this at like the actual store like Walmart or Target or anything, it's like 20 bucks for this. It's ridiculously expensive. So I get this at TJ Maxx or Marshalls if I can find it there. And it's like a lot cheaper. So I always get it there. This is the Sugar Cane and Papaya Moisturizer. It smells really good and I use this a lot. So um, I'm a little over halfway through with it, but 
you know, I've been trying to cherish it because it's a really good lotion. And then for the main lotions that I use, cause I have so many of them cause I shop at Bath and Body Works all the time and I'm constantly getting new lotions, new body sprays, new everything. I have like a three like plastic chair drawer that has, that's full of lotions and body sprays and everything. So I'm very much stocked up on these kinds of lotions. As you can see, this is the thing of lotion. If I'm not gonna lie, I put a lot of moisturizer on my skin. I went through this in two days, clearly. It's still got some stuff in it and it's still got lotion in it that I can use, but I've been through this in like two or three days. And this is one of my favorite scents. It's a strawberry pound cake. And this is the Shea Butter Moisturizer. So it's like the thicker ones. It smells so good, you guys. I like this one. I'm gonna have to restock on that because it smells amazing. But anyways, that's everything really. You just need to moisturize and have good tanning products when you do tan because that makes a world of difference. And sometimes I've heard people actually moisturize underneath applying their tanning lotion so that they can get a better tan and their skin's already moisturized when they get out of the tanning bed. And they only have to apply like a little bit of lotion to like touch up the tanning lotion or whatever. I've heard that too, but I've not done that yet. So if I do do that, I'll let you guys know how I like it. So yeah. Thank you guys for clicking on this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want any more tanning lotion or tanning tips videos, let me know in the description box or the comments below. And I love you guys and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.